Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel on Advanced Excel. Now before I start, it, uh, start this video number 24, I hope all of you are staying indoors because that is the only way we can stop uh, spreading of this coronavirus. Now today's video is going to be very important for all my viewers in India uh, as we are going to see how we can calculate income tax based on this new tax lapse for financial year 2020-21. Okay, now we all are aware that this budget 2020 it has inserted a new provisions in income tax act whereby a taxpayer is given two options. First option is either he can continue with the old tax regime where you know, he enjoys the various uh, exemptions under section 10 and various deductions under chapter 6a. That is the first option. If not, he can opt for this new tax regime where all those exemptions and all those deductions uh, have been done away with and he has to stick to this new tax labs and these are those uh, tax labs okay now i am not going into detail as to how that uh, new tax regime is going to work so those of you who are interested in knowing how things will work in this uh, financial year 2021 i recommend you to go to income tax uh, website which is in uh, income tax india dot gov dot in and search section 115 BAC. I repeat, section number is 115 BAC, which basically deals with uh, this new tax regime. Okay, so you can go there and see how things are going to work. But the object or the purpose of today's video is how we can calculate that income tax, that is a basic tax, using three dimensional value curves. Okay, so let's uh, begin with this video. Now this is my total income, taxable income which is 875,500. Now usually if you if we want to calculate the tax on this 875,500, how we do is equal to, this is how we do it on the calculator, this minus, now this uh, total income is, bit, uh, is falling in this fourth slab, so I will say minus 750,000, okay, into the rate of tax is 15%. So 15% and plus uh, what is the cumulative tax from uh, previous categories? The total is 37,500. So 37,500. This is my basic tax and my education uh, secondary and higher education says is this into 4%. So my total tax liability is this plus this, isn't it? So this is how we do it on the calculator. Right, but today we are going to see these three things. Uh, how, first is how we can calculate this basic tax using three-dimensional VLOOKUPs. So in this video, we will learn how to use VLOOKUP not once but three times to calculate uh, this tax liability. Second, how to calculate tax using uh, usual if statements, and this is uh, uh, this is what all of us are usually follow. We uh, write uh, long uh, if statement to calculate income tax. And thirdly, at the end of this video, I will explain you the advantages of using this three-dimensional VLOOKUP over IF statement. Okay, so let's begin with this uh, uh, particular thing, or let me just keep this amount uh, so that we have uh, these results are comparable. Now, before we can start this VLOOKUP three-dimensional VLOOKUP, let's understand this table which I have prepared. So uh, here are the columns. Uh, first is the slab number. Second, second uh, column is taxable income lower limit, then it is taxable income upper limit, then tax rate, then upper uh, limit previous category and cumulative tax from previous category. So let me just explain it uh, for one or two slabs. So lower limit first slab is uh, of a zero tax slab. So zero to uh, two lakh fifty thousand. We don't have uh, any tax uh, up to uh, two lakh fifty. Then from 2 lakh 50,000 to 5 lakh, the slab uh, tax rate is 5%. Then uh, third is 5 lakh to uh, 7 lakh 50,000, where the tax rate is 10%. Then 7 lakh 50,000 to 10,000, tax rate 15%. And 10 lakh to 12 lakh 50,000, rate is uh, 20%. Then 12 50,000 to 15 lakh, it is uh, 25%. And ta taxable income over 15 lakhs, it is 30%. Okay, now this is upper limit from previous category. So for this tax lab number two, 
the upper limit from previous category is this 2 lakh 50 okay similarly from this tax lab number 3 the upper limit from previous category is 5 lakh and so on okay coming to this cumulative tax cumulative tax from previous categories for this first particular slab that is 2 lakh 50 to 5 lakh there is no cumulative tax from previous category because the tax rate itself is zero because there is no tax up to taxable uh, uh, taxable income of 2 lakh 50 thousand then in this third slab that is uh, from 5 lakh to 7 lakh 50 thousand the cumulative tax from previous category is going to be 12,500 so basically it's uh, 5 lakh minus 250 into 5 percent and uh, here I have given in the formula bar you can see then coming to the fourth slab that is 750 to 10 lakh the cumulative tax from previous categories will be uh, the tax from slab number 2 and 3 isn't it so it's going to be said 12,500 plus 25,000 uh, from this third thing third slab so it's going to be 37,500 and so on so this is how that table is uh, prepared and uh, we are going to give this table a name because in VLOOKUP while we choose that table array we are going to give this uh, we are going to use that name frequently so I have, I have simply selected this uh, particular uh, range of cells which is starting from F3 to J9 okay and uh, coming to the name box I am giving it a name SLAB slab and pressing enter here okay so now if you uh, go to this name slab and select this slab it's uh, getting hold of this uh, particular range of sales now let's try to build this three dimensional VLOOKUP and the logic is going to be same, uh, going to remain the same so this is what logic is going, going to be only thing is we'll be using VLOOKUP here okay so I am coming uh, to this particular cell B19 now first thing uh, the first step will be for this particular total taxable income what is the cumulative tax from previous category so in this case it is 37500 so I will say is equal to VLOOKUP time this lookup value is this for table array we have a name because the table array we have given a name the name is SLAB I am pressing tag let me just scroll a little bit okay now uh, cumulative tax from previous category is column number 5 and we want approximate match so I am just closing the parenthesis and control enter 37500 so this is the first step in second step what we do is so anyway that person will be paying 37500 because it's a cumulative, uh, cumulative tax from all the previous categories in the second step we say this that is total taxable income minus we look up tab again this comma table array again my name is uh, uh, slab for this particular table array which we have defined slab slab comma and my column index number is going to be 3 because that is the upper limit from previous category so 3 parenthesis complete control enter ok it's 4 so uh, let me just change this to 4 it can't be 8 control enter and in third step I'll op open the parenthesis I'll close parenthesis and I'll say into we look up again uh, it's going to be the same look up value table array slab tab and now my uh, column index number is going to be 3 that is the rate of tax 3 close parenthesis enter so here it is so this plus this 56 uh, 325 56 3, uh, 325 so simply f2 as a control c escape f2 control v enter and control c f2 plus control v and enter here it is and education says is 4% so uh, the total tax is coming to 58,578 
and uh, even when we calculated it manually it is coming to 58578 okay so this is how you can use vlookup three dimensional vlookup for calculating income tax as per new regime now coming to this uh, using if for calculating this uh, uh, income tax okay so now this is going to be a very tricky because we'll we'll be writing not just one one two three four five six and if nothing uh, none of the conditions are satisfied it's zero so almost we are going to write seven if statement and to assist that i have shown it in my previous video how we can uh, use a, a facility in excel where no if you if you press uh, alt enter it takes uh, takes us to the next line so let's uh, see this i'll say is equal to if i am going to write only one if statement and then we'll use the same uh, template for uh, writing another if statement so if <coughs> sorry if this is greater than now i am starting from this last lab okay now one of my subscribe uh, subscriber asked me sachin why do you write uh, this if statement in a descending manner that's what his query was and the answer to that query is i write this if statement from say bottom to top because if all these conditions are not satisfied the last if statement will say that if this any of these conditions are not satisfied then uh, then give give me zero and that is why i am writing if statement starting from this 15 lakhs so i'll say if this total income is greater than 15 lakhs then into bracket this minus 15 15 lakhs into 30% plus 187500 comma and after entering this i am going to this formula bar here and i am pressing alt enter okay and don't worry we are still in the formula bar i am pressing this uh, down arrow and you can see by pressing this alt enter it has the cursor is uh, at the next line of my if statement and i am now simply going to copy this control c control v and we'll change this if statement to the previous uh, to accommodate that previous lab now uh, if, if it is greater than 1250000 then b4 minus 1250000 the rate of uh, tax is going to be 25% and cumulative tax from previous category 125000 now we'll copy this control c again i'll press alt enter to bring it to the next line control v then we have uh, 10 lakhs left then b4 minus 10 lakh tax lab is 20% and cumulative tax is 75000 again we'll copy this control c don't make a mistake of uh, pressing enter you have to press alt and enter alt enter next line control v now it is 750000 isn't it then p4 minus 750000 tax rate is going to be 15% here and cumulative tax will be 37500 again we'll copy this alt enter control v b4 minus 5 lakh file lakh tax rate is going to be 10% and cumulative tax is 12500 we'll copy this alt enter control v if it is greater than 250000 then before minus 250000 tax rate is going to be 5% and there is no cumulative tax so we we'll remove this particular stretch and comma and if none of these conditions are satisfied then alt enter return me zero isn't it and 
enter and excel will auto complete that uh, formula for us yes and it is 56325 education says uh, 2253 and the total tax is 58578 here it is 58578 so you can use if statement also but uh, you can see how how that if statement has uh, run one two three four five and six times and if none of these are satisfied then return is zero so using if statement can be a cumbersome number one now let i am i am at this third point advantage of advantages of using we look up our if statement whenever you write if statement uh, first thing is your logic has to be extremely clear you can't uh, uh, write if statement if you know like your uh, logic is uh, not that great okay number one number two when you write if statement that if statement can run into you know like many rows and that rows become very difficult to read so that's why we are having this okay so next time if when you want to write if statements or a multiple if statement uh, I want you to take this advantage of uh, pressing alt enter after each line so now this if statement is readable at least okay otherwise uh, it becomes very confusing and the last thing is suppose in future if government changes any of these slabs say for example it changes this slab uh, uh, third slab from say 10% uh, to 15% you will have to rework all this if statement okay but that is not the case with uh, VLOOKUP and let me show you suppose in future this particular slab government changes it from say 10% to no 12.5% 12.5% the moment i press enter this tax uh, which we have calculated will automatically get changed here it is but if statement uh, because you have uh, we have uh, done it uh, in absolute manner you will have to change this manually okay so this is the major advantage of uh, having this table in place so the moment uh, government make any changes to any of these slabs or say uh, simply drops this particular slab you can just come here and uh, delete that particular row and uh, your form uh, formula gets updated automatically okay and there is one more advantage if you can see we have given this table array a name here it is okay and whenever you give name to any table array what happens is that let me just press Control F3. See, whenever we are giving a name to any particular range of cell, those range of cell are automatically made absolute. Okay, so you need not worry. Suppose you want to calculate this income tax, uh, uh, assume that uh, this uh, spreadsheet is horizontal, and you want to calculate, you are calculating the tax for say uh, 5,000 employees. You can simply copy this formula down because all that reference uh, that so that this range of cell it is an absolute reference so you can simply copy it and it will give you a perfect result so these are the advantages of using three dimensional we look up over if statement so i think i have covered all these three things so friends uh, this brings me to the end of the video if you have uh, liked this video please give me a thumbs up also i want you to leave comment uh, so, uh, no like if you are if you know any other way of calculating this income tax in the new regime and hit that bell icon so that you are alerted for that upcoming videos. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.